Well, hey there everybody, how y'all doing? I hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night, and welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, time to do another What's New in Transformers. Heck freaking yeah, love doing this every week. Talk about new stuff. I don't have any hand, just like to chit chat. So sit back and relax, and let's talk about some freaking Transformers. All right, all right, all right. You know, first as always, add on kits, add on kits, add on kits for days. And we got new stuff from Tim underscore Hedda. He's on Facebook. I'll put everything in the description. And he's got an upgrade kit or a weapon kit for Legacy United Autobot gears so you get his rifle uh, you can split it apart and it comes in two pieces and you can uh, you know attach it in a uh, bot mode and alt mode as well and he can hold it and looks pretty cool so there you go a new weapon upgrade for legacy united autobot gear from tim underscore hedda all right all right looks like we got something new from fun b studios we got overwatch prime hammer so coming right out of the new overwatch transformer skins we see a new mega size hammer for optimus prime just look about right to really deal with some mega damage to the cons so we knew we had to bring this to life uh, we have almost, uh, we with a head almost as large as Optimus' torso, the Hammer sports uh, a trio of rear rocket boosters to really drive his, uh, you know, punishing uh, power, or pummeling power. Uh, to get this hammer into Prime's hand, the bottom uh, you know, piece will need to be first removed. Then you can handle it and it slides into the fist. Uh, so yeah, you can go onto their Patreon. I'll put that in the description if you want to go check that out, if you want to print this out. And it looks pretty cool. So then we got the Overwatch Transformer skins. Uh, looks like the uh, Battle Hammer or Prime Hammer for uh, Optimus Prime. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. All right, moving on to my favorite thing, Third Party Legends. And we got new stuff from Dr. Woo 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 and Mechanic Studios. This is MS35 Alley. Uh, this is their Elite One. One, uh, the retooling of their RC, which I really like. I have this coming from uh, Show Z, so I'm really excited to get that. Should hopefully get about next week, and uh, we get to see some. Uh, all we get to see is a uh, you know the bot mode picks. Uh, she does come. It looks like with a uh, like a combiner wars kind of a sword thing going on, so I like that. So I hope I get that with it. So there you go, Doctor Woo 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 and Mechanic Studios MS35 Alley. This is their Elite One. Can't wait to get my collection. And up next, we got the new box for the uh, Poseidon. This is the Machine One Endless Equipment Series uh, C Emperor Poseidon. This is their uh, Trypticon. And uh, hopefully I'll be getting this one pretty soon too as well. Really excited for this. So we get to see the box, the front and the back. And we get to see uh, some, uh, you know, the uh, alt mode, the bot mode and all that good stuff. So yeah, it looks really good. Really excited for this. So there you go. This is Machine One and this is uh, Poseidon. Uh, this is their Trypticon. All right. So I showed some of these picks the last time from uh, Chang Tao. Uh, this is their uh, CT-01 Megatron. And uh, this is our core class kind of thing going on. And I showed all the picks. Well, we didn't have an alt mode pick. So I, I'm, you know, I'm going to show that as well. Uh, but yeah, man, man, he's got some gaps and everything. Look at that big old hole in his um, in front of his head. Man, that's ugly. Uh, but anyways, I think it's gonna be like twenty bucks or something like that. I'll probably pick him up. Uh, but yeah, you know, it looks you know all right, I guess. I like the laser beak and I like the uh, stuff of like that. So you can use blast effects too as well. So there you go. This is Cheng Tao and this is CT01 Megatron, and you get to see the alt mode pick as well. And we got some new picks from Robot Toys RT02 um, R. This is Tyrant, the red version. This is their T Rex. And uh, we get to see the bot and alt mode, but we also get to see comparisons with their Beast Wars Megatron 2 in bot and alt mode as well. And it uh, shows how you can use the blast effect and everything. So this looks really good. Really excited for this. Uh, got this coming from Robot Toys hopefully soon. So there you go. RT02 R Tyrant. This is the red version or their T Rex. All right, we got some more picks from Lucky Cat Extreme. This is ET01 Redder, ET01P Shadow shatter and ET-01B batter. <laughs> Man, redder, shatter, and batter. That's awesome. So yeah, this is Optimus Prime, Nemesis, and Shattered Glass. I've shown these a couple of times and everything. Is anybody in on these? Um, I haven't got the uh, Lucky Cat ones for a Prime. I did get the B and I was kind of disappointed with that one, but I may get the Prime. I don't know. The Shattered Glass looks pretty good and so does uh, the uh, Nemesis. So there you go. We've got uh, Prime, Nemesis, and Shattered Glass uh, Prime, uh, from uh, Lucky Cat Extreme. And we got some new stuff from Magic Square Toys. This is from the Mukadu uh, line. This is kind of their chibi style thing going on. And uh, they're giving us a Nemesis Prime because we had Optimus Prime already. And I liked him. He's pretty cool. So I'll probably pick up Nemesis because I love the color scheme with that. And so, yeah, just a paste of recolor. Uh, it does come with the Matrix and everything. comes with a gun. He does transform. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, I really like this. So, yeah, I got the Optimus Prime. So I'll definitely be getting this Nemesis Prime from Magic Square. And uh, he's got a big old head. And last thing we're going to talk about Legends. We got new stuff or we got a closer look at Craftsman's Toys. This is uh, DJS-02B Motor. Uh, this is our Afterburner. And this is part of the uh, Technobots. And I'm uh, really, really excited for this. Man, I cannot wait to see some color picks of these and everything. I can't wait to find, we're finally getting a uh, Computron, uh, you know, Legend Scale Combiner. So really excited for this. Looks really good. 
they are heavy stylized so if you don't like that kind of thing you may not like these but i'm excited i really hope somebody like magic square new age makes these as well but really excited to get this so this is craftsman's toys this is a djs 02b motor and this is our afterburner from the uh, technobots and man i cannot wait to get my collection. Come on, let's go. All right, moving on to third party and Masterpiece news. We got new box images of Masterpiece Ultra MPU-01 Thrust. This is a version 2.0. Uh, so we get to see how he comes packaged in, all the you know accessories he gets, mm -hmm. and we get a couple pics of him in all, his bot mode as well. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. So yeah, I think he's uh, shipping out right now. I think people are getting there. So this is Masterpiece Ultra MPU-01 Thrust. All right, boxes. You gotta love them. All right, I'm excited for this. We got some new update pics from Star Toys ST02. This is their tracks. And we get to see the alt mode, which looks pretty good so far. I cannot wait to see this painted. And uh, we get to see him in his flight mode because uh, he is kind of a triple changer kind of thing going on, uh, which looks really good. I hope he comes with a stand. That would be awesome. And we also get to see the bot mode pics. We get to see a 360 of him from the front, side, the back. We also get to see some comparisons with uh, Lao Pedal, which is from Takara and everything. So it looks pretty good. I'm really excited for this. Can't wait to replace the uh, MP1 uh, with this. So yeah, really excited. So this is Star Toys ST02 and Test shots and comparisons of their um you know their tracks and man can't wait all right up next we got some new picks from metagate this is g07 black lightning this is the uh, last night and this is their drift and i really love the color combo but i like the black red and gold better than i do the blue um he's not a triple changer in this one he only transforms into the car and it looks pretty good i like it like i said i love the color combos for this one so there you go this is metagate g07 black lightning this is the last night drift and we got some new picks from Pengu Toys PT0, I'm sorry, PT12 Black Dragon or Black Ninja. And uh, this is a triple changer. So basically it's uh, Snake Eyes. And uh, he comes, you know, he's a triple changer. He turns into a bot mode. He turns into a car mode, which a lot of stuff going on with there, all the weapons and everything. And he also has a, like a wolf mode kind of going on. So kind of a homage. Uh, he did have a wolf in G.I. Joe. Um, I'm kind of looking forward to this. I have this on pre-order. I think it should be shipping out pretty soon. Uh, a lot of people said the head's too small. He does got some broad shoulders and everything. And uh, they just didn't understand why they just slapped on a you know, snake eyes head and just did this. But I'm, I'm kind of excited for this. It looks pretty neat. I do like the car mode, even though it does got a lot of stuff going on. And I do like the wolf mode as well. And uh, the bot mode looks pretty good too as well. It comes with a lot of accessories. So yeah, excited for this. So this is Pangu Toys PT12 Black Dragon, or this is their snake eyes. All right. And we got some more picks from MD001. This is a knockoff 30 Deluxe Transformers Bumblebee Optimus Prime. I did show this off last time, but we got some new picks and uh, some closer picks of, you know, some details and scope work of him. And you get to look at some of the accessories. I do like the swords and everything. It looks pretty good. And I like that little, you know, gold, the globe uh, kind of lighting up and everything. He does have light up eyes as well, it looks like. So, yeah pretty cool um i'm good with my 301 definitely do want to support them all the time don't want to buy knockoffs for their stuff but there is md001 i'm guessing that's the name of the company and this is a knockoff 30 deluxe transformers mobile optimus prime all right i'm excited for this so we got some new picks from fans hobby master build series and development this is metal hawk so i showed last time i showed the alt mode and uh we get to see the uh, butter effect you know the it looks like a you know stack of, or a stick of butter and cheese or something uh, but we get to see the bot mode now and it looks pretty good i'm excited for this you get to see him holding his uh, gun you also see him holding his sword as well uh, he does a little posability there so that's really nice and we also see some uh scale comparisons with some of the other fans uh, hobby stuff a couple of their junior handmasters it looks like nemesis prime as well uh, so yeah i'm really excited for this can't wait to see how they're gonna do this i really hope we get a pretender shell that will be freaking awesome but this is fans hobby and this is their uh, metal hawk and man can't wait can't wait and I talked about this guy last time as well. Toy Easy Metal Souls. This is Tiger Tank. And man, now we get to see. I showed alt mode picks and I love the blast effect that comes with it. But now we get to see some bot mode picks and I think this looks freaking outstanding. I really like this. I'm thinking I'm in for this guy. I love the alt mode and I love the bot mode as well. So yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm liking it. So there you go. This is Toy Easy Metal Souls. This is Tiger Tank. And yeah, I won't get this in my collection. Let's go. And if you missed out on the five times you could have got this guy already, it looks like x is going to reissue Ollie coming soon. So you get the gun, slingshot, and all that stuff. I have one of them. Uh, he's good. I wish really someone would make another one. I wish Fan Stories or somebody would make this guy. But 
you know, I guess he's fine, you know, as a stand-in. So there you go. x Bots is reissuing Ollie for the 15th time, I guess. So, yay. All right, so I came across this from Kang Toys. I have no idea what this is. Hopefully somebody will know this. So hit me in the, you know, comments and everything. But this is Kang Toys, like I said. And this is the first batch of Kang One Pavilion's original myth mythical mecha IP. So I have no idea. It, it might be a Gundam thing or something. I, like I said, don't quote me on that. I don't know what this is, but it looks freaking badass. My gosh, tons and tons of accessories, you know, tons of weapons. You got swords and everything. Looks like you got some arrows or something. I don't know, maybe some of that. I don't know, but man, got a nice stand that comes with it too as well. Would love to see some paint on this thing, see how it comes out. Man, I'd love to see like a red and gold version of this maybe. Uh, but like I said, yeah, I don't know who the, you know what this is. Uh, it is from Kang Toys. They do Transformers, but this doesn't transform anything it looks like. Uh, but it looks pretty badass. So yeah, hit me up in the comments. Tell me what this is because I may want to try to get this. And this is from Kang Toys. This is Kang Wan Pavilion's original mythical mecha IP. All right, so let's move on to official Transformer news. And it looks like Yellow Park has officially hit 14,000 fans on their Facebook uh, page and everything. So it says, we did it. Yellow Park, we've reached a fantastic milestone of 14,000 followers on Facebook. And thanks to you, they're going to give a, uh, they're gonna have a giveaway. So there's going to be two winners, two prizes. You get the Starscream AMK Pro Series, a 20 centimeter Starscream model, uh, model kit. Awesome. I have this on pre-order, but yeah, if you can try to win this, it's awesome. So how to enter, you just follow them at yellowpark.official on their Facebook page, and I guess you can enter that way. It starts on August 5th, which is already started, and it goes into August 19th, and they'll claim the prize on August 19th as well. So uh, just go in, enter, and you have a chance to win Starscream from Yellow Park. So congratulations. Yay. All right, well, we got, we got some new painted sample images from Jakar Tomy Transformers 40th Anniversary TF-40A Lyo Convoy. So we got the first uh, stock images the last time, and we have an official promotional video. I'll put that in the description if you want to go check that out. Now we can share images of a hand-painted samples on this new figure. The new extensive retool of the Legacy Leo Prime mold was on exhibit at the Yobashai, uh, something, another convention in Tokyo. Images come thanks to the uh, uh, member R uh, Rodimus Zero off of... Uh, uh, TFW 20, uh, 2005. Uh, we can appreciate the new improved deco from the figure in robot mode. So we don't see the alt mode, we just see the robot mode. So there you go, painted sample Im images of Lyle Convoy. So we got an image of Super Nilla, Manila, golly, Comic Con exclusive 40th anniversary Transformers number one comic cover. Uh, so announced here the new exclusive 40th anniversary comic cover. Uh, we got some details. There's only going to be a print run of about a thousand copies. Uh, the exclusive issue will be available at the Super Manila Comic Con during September 7th and 8th at uh, 2024 Manila Philippines so if you're in the Philippines you have a chance to get this cover that's pretty cool so there is uh, the Super Manila Comic Con exclusive 4th anniversary Transformers number one comic cover it looks like Bop It Optimus Prime and Authentic Helicopter Optimus Prime at Bumblebee found at US Retail uh, they were found in Washington so happy hunting and also found at US Retail Transformers 1 mainline Energon Glow Bumblebee and Ultimate and Ultimate Energon Optimus Prime uh, these were found in it looks like uh, Washington as well so uh, happy hunting up in Washington. So it looks like we got some sample images from Dakar Tomy Transformers 1 Brave Commander Optimus Prime. This figure is a Dakar Tomy uh, new Transformer uh, 1 Optimus Prime toy is bigger scale and with new gimmicks and more details. For those wondering about the scale, these images show him next to the Dakar Tomy uh, 0D or OD01 Optimus Prime, Prime Changers Optimus Prime. Retail is going to be about $80 and should be shipping out about December of 2024. Uh, you can go pre order him at uh, Big Bad Toy Story, Chosen Prime, wherever you want to. So there you go. Sample images of Takar Tomy Transformers 1 Brave Commander Optimus Prime. And still on the uh, Transformers 1 Brave Com uh, Commander Optimus Prime, there's a new promotional clip as well. So it's a bigger and more detailed mode of the Transformer 1 Optimus Prime. Uh, everything like I said, it has a video. I'll put that in the description if you can go check it out. So there you go. There's a new promotional clip of uh, Transformers 1 Brave Commander Optimus Prime as well. So it looks like there's going to be a Transformers Legacy United Collector Box and Action Figure Bundle in Walmart for Canada. So listed for $142 uh, CAD, which is $103 USD, uh, you get four Legacy United Wave 4 Deluxes, RID Sideburn, Cybertron Hotshot, RID 2015 Strong Arm, which is a repack, and a Fernic Universe Nucleus bonus uh, Transformer Collector box as well. The box features the main Legacy United character art and the interior features a G1 retro packaging 
and that can be used as a stage as well. So you can use it as a display stage. So we have no concrete information about the collector box to be available in the U.S., uh, but if I hear some more information, I'll definitely put that out. So there you go. Legacy United Collector Box and Action Figure Bundle for Walmart in Canada. All right, we got some new in heat images of Transformer Legacy United G1 Universe Optimus Prime. Figure is part of the Legacy United Wave 4 Deluxes and is has articulated G1 inspired Optimus Prime mold, similar to the concept in Dakar Tommy Missing Link Optimus Prime as well. We have great shots in robot mode showing off posability and accessories and a good look at his alt mode. Uh, you can, you know, still pre order this guy anywhere you want to, you know. Chosen Prime, Big Bad Toy Store, ages three and up. Anyway, so there you go. in hand images of Transformer Legacy United G1 Universe Optimus Prime. Man, more Prime. And we got some more Halloween stuff for Hasbro Kids Transformers 1 new costume and, match, and Matrix accessory images. So we get Alita 1 Transformers 1 Deluxe costume. We get the Bumblebee uh, 1 Classic Muscle costume. We get Optimus Prime Orion Pax uh, 1 Toddler Muscle uh, you know, costume. We get a Megatron Transformers 1 Toddler Muscle costume. And a Light Up Matrix for leadership accessory. All right, so they should be coming in, you know, in stock right now at Walmart, Target, wherever you go. But it has real kids, Transformer 1's new costume and Matrix accessory images. All right, let's go trick-or-treating. All right, so we get our first look at Transformers Earthspark 1 Step Flip Changer Chaos Ter Terrain Spitfire Rebuild. So we got an official Amazon listing, but found no images. However, on Hasbro's shop website, the listing for Transformers 1 Power Flip Optimus Prime accidentally has the right stock images of Spitfire. Uh, so he is going to be a straight redeco of the Earthspark One Step Flip Changer Twitch with a new packaging. Uh, this is a second Spitfire figure revealed. So there you go, new uh, Spitfire revealed. Yay! All right, now we got official stock images of Transformers Earthspark Deluxe Chaos Terrain. Uh, Aftermath and Jawbreaker. The official Hasbro shop website has been updated with the listings and images. These figures are part of the Earthspark Wave 6 Deluxe figures. The new Hasbro versions have got different uh, paint apps compared to the previously released Takara Tomi versions. So, yeah, like I said, the Takara Tomi ones are going to have a better paint job. But there you go. This is Earthspark Deluxe Chaos. Uh, Aftermath and Jawbreaker official stock images. And it looks like we got a new pre-order coming up for uh, fan, uh, Flames Toy. So this here comes the new Fear model soon. This is Megatron G1 version. Uh, the pre-orders will start, uh, looks like 12 p.m. Hong Kong time. So I'm guessing that's already started today. Uh, but this will go on uh, pre-order if you want to you know, check it out and try to get it. So there you go, Flames Toys. We got the G1 Megatron. The Fura model soon is coming out. All right. All right, folks, that's it, man. And we got a bunch of just jam-packed full of great stuff, man. It's always a great time to be a Transformer collector, man. I'm so excited for the Technobots and Computron. I cannot wait for that to start coming out. We got Star Toys Tracks. I cannot wait for that. That looks pretty good. That new thing from Kane's Toys, whatever that is, looks freaking awesome. We just got a bunch of great stuff, man. I can't wait. So hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. It really all helps out the channel. Hit me up some comments. Are you excited for any of this stuff? And I guess I'll see you in the next uh, What's New in Transformers. And as always, be good to yourself. Hail freaking Transformers. And good night, folks.